call upon the Divisional Commissioner, uh, General Mosala, to do the welcome address. General? Thank you very much, uh, Program Director. Um, let me uh, observe, prote observe protocol, starting with the Minister of Police, General Begitele, our Premier, Datele uh, Sufi, our MEC, uh, Mepit Mazibuko, uh, our Provincial Commissioner, General Mawela, all generals present, all M MMCs, uh, protocol observed. Um, today's event is more, it's just a follow-up of the events that we had uh, where around October, November, our minister, uh, Honorable Minister General Begitele, launched uh, the National Festive Season Operations in Limpopo, and it was then followed up by uh, provincial launches of a uh, safer festive season. And uh, ideally, uh, as it is that time of the year, as South African Police Service, together with all our sister departments and all law enforcement agencies, we part of what we support we, we we seek to do is to ensure multidisciplinary and integrated uh, joint operations in all police stations in all districts in all provinces uh, and nationally and the intention is in to it is to ensure that uh, there is more boots on the ground towards enhanced police visibility meaning all law enforcement agencies will be working around the clock uh, to ensure that our beloved citizens of this country enjoy their well-deserved uh, peaceful fe uh, festive season. So, and one of the things that we need to do uh, to all uh, operators on the ground is to ensure that we, the criminal elements they don't get a chance to operate freely targeting our citizens. Meaning, the law-abiding citizens must be able to, to enjoy their festivities uh, in peace. And then the only people that must not enjoy their festive, uh, the, the festive season in peace, it must be the criminals. There must not be any room for any criminal elements to operate freely anywhere in the country. And where we're supposed to defend ourselves when we're attacked, we must respond. We must respond. And we've been trained how to respond. And please, I'm appealing to all operators, to all law enforcement agencies, as we operate, let's ensure that we are safe, that we work together in, 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 as a team so that we don't find ourselves having to lose uh, our members as a result of some of these attacks. The criminals during this time of the year, I think we, we, we have seen in our, in, our, in our previous festive season, uh, they are armed to the teeth. So, so where are we supposed to respond to fire with fire? Let, let it be done. Because we can't respond to fire with a hack. You can only respond to fire with a fire. So, so with that said, thank you very much, Program Director. And we wish, uh, let me take this opportunity just to wish all the law abiding citizens of the country a very peaceful festive season and a prosperous new year. Thank you very much, Program Thank you very much, General. I also wish to acknowledge and extend again the word of welcome to our different departments that are here, the, our CPF that is there. General, allow me to call on Constable Masego to read the code of conduct for us. All members in uniform will stand on attention as he reads the code of conduct. Parade Commander.
the South African Police Service Code of Conduct. I commit myself to the creation of a safe and secure environment for all the people in South Africa by participating in endeavors to address the root causes of crime in the community, preventing any measures which may threaten the safety and security of the community, investigating criminal conduct which has endangered the safety and security of the community, and bringing the perpetrators thereof to justice. In realization of the aforesaid commitment, I shall at all times obey the Constitution and the law, be guided by the needs of the community, give full recognition to the South African Police Service as my employer, and cooperate fully with the community, government at all levels, including all other related role players. In order to achieve a safe and secure environment for all the people in South Africa I undertake to, with integrity, render a responsible service of high quality, which is accessible to every person, and continuously strive to improve that service. Utilize all available resources efficiently and cost-effectively in order to ensure their maximum use. Develop my own skills and participate in the development of the skills of my colleagues in order to ensure equal opportunities for all. Contribute to the redevelopment of, the reconstruction of, and reconciliation in our country. Uphold the fundamental rights of every person. Act impartially, honestly, courteously, responsibly, and in an accountable manner. Exercise the powers conferred upon me in a responsible and controlled manner. Work actively towards preventing any form of corruption and bring the perpetrators thereof to justice. Thank you, Parade Commander. We may be seated. General, allow me to call upon the Premier of Gauteng, Honorable Sufi, to address and welcome or introduce the Minister of Police. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to start by acknowledging the Minister, uh, Mr. Pekele, General. Thank you so much. Also acknowledge the MEC responsible for community safety in our province, the provincial commissioner and the leadership coming from National Temple. Um, want to acknowledge and thank you. Minister, I'll be failing in my responsibilities if I don't thank you. The dedication and the commitment to our work is unmeasurable. We want to thank you that during this particular period, when all other people have taken leave and time to be with their families, we have extended our responsibility as the Minister of Police to ensure that our country is safe. We come to you embarrassed as this province, that every time when you release your statistics, our province continues to lead with the numbers that are shocking, disturbing, and worrying. If you can remove our province from your statistics, it's quite clear that how they, South Africa is not that bad. But if you add our statistics, such an extent of so add of that of the Western Cape, you know that our country is in trouble. So we are proud that you have come here to be with us so that we can unle unleash the onslaught against crime, we can unleash the onslaught against corruption, we can unleash the onslaught against lawlessness and vandalism. We want to commit ourselves, Honorable Minister, that we are on your side. And we are on your side not only by talking and speaking and doing nothing. We are, our, we are on your side because we are releasing an unmeasurable number of resources to support and supplement your work. 
the government that I have the honor to lead in this province have prioritized crime, corruption, lawlessness, and vandalism as enemy number one of this province. And we've taken a conscious decision to release all the resources that we have at our disposal so that we can be in a position to support you. Earlier on, the provincial commissioner confirmed that we've released 50 new cars to supplement your work. But he wants to assure you that we are going beyond that. We are at the tail end of procuring almost six new helicopters so that every region of our province has an helicopter up in the sky so that we can give back up to you and your support team. We are releasing almost 2,000 new drones so that where it's difficult for police to enter, we'll use the aerial advantage of our drones to communicate information to our law enforcement agencies so that they are ready to confront the criminals. We are on the verge now of rolling out all, in all major roads, areas, facilities, high definition CCTVs, so that we can capture every element of criminal activity in our province. We've just finalized the recruitment process of 6,000 new police, uh, what we call peace wardens, so that they can supplement the work of your police so that you are free to know that you've got support in this province. We are ready to fight crime in this province, National Minister. We are more than willing to confront the criminals head on. And we're not doing this just for sake of satisfying any other thing but is to make Gauteng a safer place. With your leadership, together with the leadership of the provincial commissioner, we are quite convinced that we will be in a position to push back crime in our province. But minister, I'll be failing in my responsibilities if I don't urge you. Two days ago, a heartless person went to one of our hospitals here in Gauteng called Baraguanath Hospital. That particular individual cut the pipe that was transmitting oxygen to the most vulnerable people in the ICU unit. I urge you, if you can't hunt that person, you have failed us. Because we don't need that kind of personnel in our institution. But we also we can't allow lawlessness, lawlessness to take its course also in our roads. We are ashamed that people went inside the bus and robbed and killed people inside that particular bus. We can't allow that to happen in our country, Minister. It is this act that have demonstrated that criminals are free and they think they can do as they wish. Today's launch must send a strong signal to all criminals. We have arrived, we are here, we are not scared of them, and we'll tackle them head on wherever they are. They can hide, they can run, but we'll find them. National Minister, it's indeed my honor to invite you to address us. Thank you so much. Shall we all stand, please? You may be seated. Those that are behind me, not in front of me. Good morning, Premier. Good morning, the MC. Good morning, the councillors, the MMCs. Police management, divisional head, visit policing, provincial commissioner, the management, the members of community that are here, and Mapoisa. Good morning, Mapoisa. Good morning, Mapoisa. Mapoisa, good morning. Oh, send you so here. Mapoisa, good morning. <laughs> Premier, uh, thanks very much. We are very much pleased by your efforts accommodating us more than any other Premier in the Republic of South Africa. I'm really not contradicted to say so. And I hope you will invite your colleagues not to talk, not to speak politics around policing, but to put resources 
and put working together. It's a festive season. It's a season that we all go, eat, dance, spooze. Spooze ga cool, prima. Spooze. Spooze ga cool, man. For that to happen, the invite had to be made to these men and women standing in front of us. As Umpundis has said, these are not just police. These are human beings. These are fathers. These are mothers. These are brothers. These are sisters. They are families. But for South Africa to be safe, they'll have to make their families secondary and make South Africans primary. Hence, they are here. Hence, all of you, when you're eating custard and jelly, they'll be looking after you, your families, your kids, to make sure that you are safe. So it's important to thank them. I hear people now and again asking, what are the police doing? One Christmas, Premier, I'll give every member of the South African Police Service a leave from 15th December to 15th January. And in yours, we are good by our team. Zaba by Tama Poison. Get my poison. Yale leave in number. No, okay. I'm sure there can be mashes. Instead of Christmas, there will be mashing. Because. As we are here in South Africa today, enjoying festive season, whether we are in Cape Town, whether we are in PE, whether we are in Tepe, whether we are in Soshanguve, whether we are in Messina, whether we are in Tohuyando, police have been called back to look after South Africans, to look to our own visitors, tourists, and all those that opted to be with us from their different countries. That's the warning I made yesterday in Cape Town. I repeat that warning here. There is this tendency of overemphasizing over the safety of tourists, the safety of those that are on suburbs at the expense of those that are in the township and of those that are South African. You hear people talking to say, Tourists must be safe, as if we don't have human beings that we need to keep safe every day here. I want to make that emphasis, that all people in South Africa, doesn't matter who they are, doesn't matter where they live, doesn't matter where they, where they sleep, we, are safe, we have the same responsibility of keeping them safe. Don't then choose and select who do we keep safe. Keep ordinary South Africans. When that woman shouts, when that abused woman comes to the police station because there is nowhere else to go, don't, as a member of the South African police, tell that woman to go back and negotiate. You are not negotiators. If you want to negotiate, come to me. I will send you to Ukraine and Russia. You can go and negotiate there. But here, is to, especially the woman is a child, an elderly, drop everything and take care of that particular human being. They come to you because nothing else they can do. They come to you because their last hope is you. Don't then undermine the hopes of South Africans. Don't then undermine the hopes of those people that are looking upon ourselves to be saved. So it's important. Secondly, there are people that they think they run the world. They are called criminal nation. I want to call upon you. Most of you come from college here. Uh, Prima, we have unleashed in your province more than 2,000 new blood. Coming from college, you took more than anybody. <laughs> Out of 10,000, you took two. Those are young people. We have spoken to them. I'm very glad that those that were in Twali Academy were addressed by the president on their last day. It was wet, wet, wet. Today is hot, hot, hot. 
at least now they understand that you find all the weathers in policy. Get wet, you get dry. I want to say to them, they've learned many things. One thing that they've learned is the law and the constitution. You are policing within the constitutional dispensation. We are policing within the human right dispensation. But I want you to understand very well, you need to balance between the law and the safety of the community and the safety of the humans that you protect. And those humans you protect, you fall within that category. You yourselves, you must protect yourselves. Therefore, what I saw in Springs of a young 23 drunkard, thug, called by Father Matang, of 23 years, of a daddy who was a pastor, a shy boy, I'm not expecting that to you. I cannot accept that you can be pushed around by criminals and just oblige. Yes, you need to understand we are policing and we are working within human rights dispensation. But those human rights belong to you too. We are not wheelbarrows. We are not just going to be pushed around here. When they push you, Please, you go and open the Old Testament. Don't open the new one. The new one Testament has got a problem. That if I hit you this, you give me this. And the Old Testament talks very well. You took my tooth, I took yours. You keep the law, but you also make sure that you don't ignore the last portion of section 205 of the Constitution that says your job is to uphold the law and enforce it. You is to up, uphold the law and enforce it. It's not enforcing the law when you run away from the criminal. We are not going to have a country where criminals are going to run all over us because as they try to run over you, they will end up running over the community. We are not going to co govern with criminals. Governments are elected, so we are not going to co govern with criminals. Remember that the state has authority, and you are the arm of making sure that the authority of the state prevails. You go and walk. Saturate the street of this place, Soshangobe, of Pretoria, of Swan, everywhere. You go saturate the streets. Saturate the streets of malls. When people go for their shopping and they see you, they must be full of hope. When they cry and make a call, you must respond. When they say they are facing danger, you must be there to fend off the danger away from communities. Very glad that you are here as a multidisciplinary integrated force. I see many of other units here working with the police. That makes life easy. Instead of talking negative against one another, but working together, that will impact better when it comes to the life, health, safety of the community. But we're also calling on the community to work with the police. We are calling on the community to give information to the police so that they are able to respond. If we go around here, uh, Premier, this place, Soshang Uwe, and the, some of the towns is one place with a lot of criminals. When I work here and I'm told that, hey, Soshang Uwe, and, uh, and this, uh, these criminals don't come with the rain. They don't come with the rain, these criminals. They come from the houses here. These criminals have mothers here. These criminals have girlfriends and wives here. So this thing of making noise to say a fall of criminals, before the criminal goes out, it wakes up in your own bed 
amanya ma criminal abeka isibhamu phezu komqamelo wena ntombi yaso uqamele ephezu wesigebe ngesiqamele esibhamini but you don't tell us that there is a criminal in your own house maybe prima the next campaign we need to run here ukuthi everybody akale at isigebe ngisakha that would be a nice cream, that would be a nice campaign everybody bring your own thug bakuqela negebeni zabo sibabona ati nase sam nase sam nase sam so that we are able to wipe and sweep off all these criminals that make life difficult for our people you're going to space make us feel safe make us safe and say to south africans you are there for them otherwise we are very happy to be here we are very happy to see that you are surrounded by communities here they are surely they will support you as you move around i want you from college you have been here we we we, we give teachers shock to do their work give doctors stethoscope to do their work we also give you tools to do your work and those tools are tools of trade the harder they go hit harder when criminals choose to engage you when criminals shoot you you don't ask too many questions when you find the war going on you don't ask who started the war you get on the war when the war settles then you ask who started the war because if you ask before the war finishes you might not be there to ask the question who started the war criminals have declared the war on us we did not start the war therefore make sure that you push this war back be hard be very hard on criminals and be kind be very kind on ordinary members of the communities of south africa so let's go let's walk let's make sure that we allow people to enjoy to eat christmas to eat food and allow them to drink and say to the human beings and say to all south africans wherever they are boys are you go and drink and nipuze nipuze kakhula manzi so that life gets better happy christmas prosperous new year special members of the community will be with you nina we'll meet in the malls we'll meet on the beach we'll meet on the valleys we'll be crossing rivers together and for us christmas is a happiness of the community our christmas is based on the happiness and safety of the community thank you very much thank you very much minister i will now call upon the provincial commissioner of gauteng lieutenant general mawela to give us the vote of thanks you may be seated program director thank you very much for this opportunity firstly greetings to our honorable minister o minister general pekitele greetings to our honorable premier premier lisufi our honorable mc mema zibuko greetings to the difcom visible policing and operations greetings to all the heads of departments which are here with us the deputy chief the deputy chief of tmpd is also here and the temashaole greetings to the mmcs who are here mmc chenerson and mmc max for health greetings to all the councillors who are here with us greetings to the community of this extension Greetings to all the media houses who are forever with, with us on the ground and supporting our cause and bringing the message across to the communities and the people away uh, far from where we are right now. Mine is simple is to acknowledge and appreciate your presence here starting with the minister of police for those marching orders which are simple and straightforward no confusion from our part 
for us is just to, to do what we call it quick match. Again, let me acknowledge our Premier. Premier, let me appreciate all the support you are giving me, you and your government. All the vehicles which you have uh, given to us, some of those vehicles are here, beautiful and ready to roll, to be on the street, we truly appreciate. Not only that, but we also appreciate the moral support which you are forever giving us. That weight of encouragement which you forever convey to me, that I must convey it back to the foot soldiers, it truly, truly motivate us to make us to can do more. Our MEC, Mema Zibuko, I can't thank you more. You are forever with us, in the streets, in the trenches of this province, day and night. Whether it rains, it shines, you are forever with us. And all these police officers, they are grateful. Always they'll be with you on the streets. And Premier, some of um, the, the units uh, of the police called the VCIU, uh, the MEC called them Amadentis. These are the people who are searching for stolen vehicles. He even issued them with the uh, with the, with these head heads, so that uh, when they work and move around, they must not uh, have a challenge of the sun. So it shows that motherly love which our MEC is giving to us, and MEC we truly appreciate. The MMC uh, for public safety, um, Dr. Chenison, thank you very much, and for that cooperation and support you forever give us, especially in this district of Tswane. Thank you very much for that, and we truly appreciate. General Mokhala, on behalf of the National Commissioner, we truly, truly appreciate all the big monies you have given to us so that we can make our police officers happy. We in Gauteng, we talk about the happy boots on the ground. So when you see police officers walking around in the streets of Gauteng, you'll see that these police, of, police officers, they are happy. When I beg and I walk here. When they walk, you will see that they are happy. And we truly appreciate, convey that weight of appreciation back to our National Commissioner. And to the communities of this area and other areas in, in, in Province County, we truly appreciate the support. You are the first multiplier. You are our eyes and ears. And continue to report those who are committing crime to us will truly respond accordingly. Let us make the space for criminal very small. Let us squeeze that space. It is upon us that we, we ensure that the criminals are frustrated here. We have observed in Houghton that we have a tendency of beating each other up. Please let us refrain from beating each other up. Let us find a better way to can resolve our conflict amongst ourselves. Let me also thank all the supporters and the sponsors and our social partners who are hard at work supporting us. Some, they are also donating their own uh, modern equipment, information uh, uh, technology to can support the work of the police. We truly appreciate the Business Against Crime, the E2 program, all those people who are supporting the police, we truly appreciate. Honorable Minister, the officers in Houghton, they are hard at work. They've already started. When we were doing Operation Ukaimala on Thursday, our detectives, they were hard at work. They went out there to can collect all the wanted suspects. And yesterday, when we were busy with Operation Okai Mulao, they reported to me that they've arrested 1,007 wanted suspects. And I was congratulating them and also congratulating those criminals to say they've won a lotto because of they're going to spend Christmas behind bars. Yeah. They are not going to be in the street. And again, this morning, General Kumalo said to me, General Sipindi Lefuchi, we brought another 405 wanted suspects. So, they commit crime in Houghton, you are going to spend Christmas behind bars. And when you go and greet the magistrate on the 28th, you commit crime again, or others they commit crime, you are going to spend new year behind bars. That is not a threat, it's a promise, and I thank you very much. Thank you, General. I will now call upon the Divisional Commissioner, General Masala, to release the member, the parade, to their duties. Parade commander.
Thank you very much. We'll come to the end of your program.